Hi everyone. So today's topic is going to be about building funnels, and that's a part of sales automation. But before I start with this topic, I want to clarify one more time that sales automation never comes first. First comes optimizing the organic sales process. Many people they make a mistake of diving right into sales automation, and because of that, they go through. A lot of frustration. They have to do a lot, large amount of work. They spend months or years, and they spend a lot of money, waste a lot of money, right? So that phase, this phase, comes only after you have optimized your organic sales process. Once you have done that, then the sales automation is the next step. And sales in sales automation, the first step that you need to do is build a funnel. Build funnel. So in this top in this webinar session, I'm going to cover what are the different parts of a funnel and what exactly you need to do, right? So basically, a funnel consists of a landing page. It's called an opt-in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this webinar very very short, very superficial because you know this type of stuff is already being taught by many other experts. And I don't want to take their place. I just want to give you an overview so that you will understand that this stuff is important, and then you can follow other people in order to understand and learn this process a little bit deeper. My job is to get you in the right direction, right? But there are resources that are already existing that you can use. I don't want to reinvent the wheel. I don't want to recreate those resources all over again, right? People are already doing it really well. So I don't want to take their place. I want to take my own place, right? So I'm going to keep this webinar very, very short and to the point, very precise, right? So opt-in, a landing page, you know, is a page where a person needs to enter an email address. Your prospect, whoever you are trying to sell to, he needs to enter his email address, right? Why will he enter his email address? That's where the sales process comes in. He will get something out of it. That's why he will enter the email address, right? If you are not good with the sales process, you will create a really shitty landing page, and the person will not even feel like entering his email address, or he will try to uh, enter a fake email address or a secondary email address which he never even checks, right? But the point is that once you have optimized your organic sales process, you know what exactly people need to hear in order to take small small actions, right? So. The first stage, first part is you have to create an opt-in funnel, right? Then this op, uh, once the person, once the prospect, this is the prospect, prospect, right? He enters his email address, right? And then he gets some type of value. That value can be in the form of multiple things. It can be video, PDF file. It could be a training material. It could be anything else, a freebie, right? A freebie, or it could be a camp combination of multiple things, right? Could be anything. So he goes to the thank you page, thank you page, where he gets this value, right? And then after that, he can uh, choose to make a purchase as well, right? If there is a video, there will be a button underneath the video where a person can choose to buy once he has finished that training or whatever you have sent him. Once he has consumed it, he can make a purchase decision. Right now, some people they make the purchase decision quickly and they want to make the purchase decision quickly because they are in pain. They want to get they want to get their pain resolved as quickly as possible. So they need to make that they need to take action instantly. They are not going to wait around for four months to build a relationship with you, right? They need to get things done right away, right? So that uh, buy button is there for that reason, right? And if you are really good with sales, then you will understand how you need to amplify the pain of people who are not actually feeling pain as much yet, right? You will be able to amplify their pain and be able to build trust with them instantly and lower their action threshold so that they will also become they will turn themselves into a person who is a quick action taker for a small period of time right 
and they will be able to make the purchase right away but then some people right so the, so the, there are multiple types of people people who want to take action right away want to purchase want to buy right away right away right and then second type of people they are not in pain as much but then if your sales process is really really good then they will make the purchase right away right they are not in pain right now but you convert them into this category using your sales process uh, you convert them into uh, into type one right type one using your sales process right and then there are third category of people as well people who are procrastinators right or people who get distracted right get distracted maybe their electricity problem wi-fi pro internet problem or whatever or some other things in life come in their way right they get distracted they want to make the purchase they are either in category one or two but they get distracted for some reason right either their habit of procrastination or life gets in their way or some something happens some incident happens and they're not able to make the purchase but what happens is that if they don't make the purchase they forget and they're never going to come back on in your funnel later on right so what do you do is you retarget them using emails right so the person enters his email address here right and you use that email to remind them not just to remind them follow not just to remind them and follow up with them but also to follow other parts of your sales process as well right so you retarget them so the person if he doesn't make the purchase here then you retarget these people with emails retarget with emails right so uh, one more time there are few things in the funnel number one is the landing page landing page number two and this is entirely automated by the way you are not doing anything manually if you try to retarget people manually right send them emails manually you are done because there'll be hundreds of people in your funnel right you're not going to be able to do it you're not going to be able to scale it up right it'd be more like an organic sales process instead of an automated sales process right so it's completely automated even email part is automated right so landing page is the first part opt-in page is the same thing right opt-in page and then the the training or the value or whatever you're providing it's, it can be any type of value not necessarily just training right it could be any type of value it could be a discount coupon it could be a discount coupon for a vacation um for some type of vacation right it could be anything right and then the third is retargeting emails retargeting emails right and the fourth part very important right so trade so training value landing page right uh, you can also say number zero is website right one more thing you can create a website but that website you don't want to spend too much time in creating like some people i've seen like they spend two weeks some people spend like three months in building a website you don't want to do that you should take like uh, less than half an hour to build this website if you're consuming too much time into building a website which does not even matter you are wasting your time energy you're slowing your progress down you don't want to do that landing page should take you 15 minutes website should take you less than 30 minutes landing page should take you less than 15 minutes right if you are investing any more time on that which means that your sales process organic sales process is not built in the first place you are wondering what to put in the landing page 
right training uh, creating training material value should not take you more than 3 days should not take you more than um, 10 hours of work 10 hours of work right so this is 30 minutes 15 minutes training value should not take you more than 10 hours of work retargeting emails should not take you more than 3 hours of work if you are spending any more time it means your sales process is not optimized. You have not learned sales. You have not learned persuasion. You have not built an organic sales process yet. You have not tested it yet. And you are trying to build your sales funnel on the first go. And you are going to waste your time. Your, your funnel will have poor conversion rates. You will waste all that time energy. You will waste all the money that you will uh, invest into it. Right. And the last part, right, is ads right so ads you can run ads on facebook cold traffic right cold traffic facebook has cold traffic if you are good with sales you will have no problem converting cold traffic absolutely cold traffic on first encounter right google you can run ads on Google. That's not a cold traffic. That's a little bit um, hot uh, in terms of interest level. Interested. They're buyers. People looking to buy things. They're actively looking to make a purchase or they're act actively exploring different resources, even free resources. That's an interest level. Right. So these people who uh, go on Google, they're already interested in something right and people on facebook cold traffic right but once you have optimized your organic sales process you have you will have very very easy time in converting both of these traffics cold traffic very very easy to convert for you interested traffic very very easy to convert for you very very easy it's like a cakewalk cold traffic is like a cakewalk right and you'll be able to convert them on the first encounter right not four months some people, you know, they are selling um, very high ticket offers like uh, $50,000 offers. Maybe they will try, maybe they will take some more time in order to warm up the audience first and then convert after four months. But if you are selling a small ticket item, less than $2,000, less than $500, right? $500 offer, very, very easy to convert people on the first go, on the first encounter. If you have the sales process, if you don't have a sales process, then you can do all the things in the world and you won't even be able to convert people on even $50, right? If you don't have a sales process, if you have a sales process, you can sell it them even on $2,000, $1,500, right? Easily sell them. So ads will take you. So this, this is the part of digital marketing. You will take a little bit more time to learn these things, digital marketing, right? Um, but in order to create the ads, you should not take more than um, uh, one hour, less than one hour. You will take in order to create the ads. And digital marketing, you will take a little bit time. It's a slow process, slow learning process. You will take a few iterations of experiments in order to learn it, right? It's a gradual process. But once you learn it, then it's very, very quick, right? You don't have to spend too much time on it. Uh, only time you have to spend is on these things, which is, you know, 30 minutes is about one hour of time, right? And then 10 hours, three hours, one hour, that's about 15 hours total, less than 15 hours, right? And these are the five parts that you have to work on when you are trying to build funnel, less than 15 hours. You should be able to build a funnel in less than 15 hours. And one more thing, right? Uh, Google ads and Facebook ads has the capability to retarget as well. So you're not going to just retarget people through emails. You are also going to retarget them through ads as well. So there are people who are quick action takers. They convert right away. There are people who get distracted easily. You know, they need a few iterations of retargeting, two, three iterations of retargeting, then they get converted. And then there are people who are really, really slow action takers, slow action takers, right? 
and you will take a little bit more number of retargetings in you know warming them up and converting them now if your sales process is really really good and it's very good at converting even cold strangers then the number of iterations of retargeting will reduce to minimum right will reduce drastically but if your sales process is not as good then you will need a lot more iterate 50 x right you will need a lot more retargeting and you will waste a lot of money right so with that, I want to end the session. I want to recap one more time. Building funnel, right, has four parts. Number one is the website. Don't spend much time on it, right? Then comes the landing page. That's the main part. That's the first step for any prospect to take. Third is the value, right? In the form of videos, PDFs, discount, or whatever, freebies, training material, whatever, right? Fourth is the retargeting emails. Retargeting emails. And fifth is the ads. Ads, and you can retarget with ads as well. Retargeting campaigns. And when you are doing these things, there are tools that you want to use. They are already existing in the world, right? You don't want to try to do everything yourself. You want to take the help of tools and they're readily available. They're cheap. Many of them are free, right? Use them instead of trying to you know, take a, a long shot, right? You want to take shortcuts. And whoever teaches you that shortcuts are bad, He's not successful. So, for example, one person gave me an example. Uh, told me, I think I, I think it was Ankita. Um, so, Ankita told me one day that uh, once again, Ankita, I love you, right? It's not to you know, I like you, but you know, uh, I'm just trying to uh, improve concepts of people. I'm trying to improve concepts of you as well, right? So. So Ankita told me that, you know, people tell us every day since childhood that we want to uh, work, uh, we don't want to work smart, we want to work hard, right? And it's the hard work that gets results, it's not the smart work that gets results. And uh, if we try to uh, take shortcuts, then we will not get results. That's what people teach, right? So I just want to ask you one question, right? If let's say, let's say you are living in India, right? So in India, right? People, uh, people uh, wash clothes, right? Wash clothes and they use their hands to wash the clothes, right? Many people. And then there is a washing machine, right? Washing machine, right? And some people use washing machine to wash clothes. Now washing clothes with hands takes a lot more efforts, a lot more time. Wa using washing machine takes pressing one button, putting the clothes and detergent. You put the clothes and detergent into the machine and you press one button. And then you can go and wash TV or do whatever, right? You can work on your business or do whatever, right? It takes 30 minutes and the clothes are washed so which one is better hard work is better or smart work is better so the moral of the story is easy quick stable progress is always better than hard slow unstable progress right so with that i want to end the session today uh hopefully i didn't miss anything so I'll let you guys ask me any questions. Joji has any questions? Uh, just about the ads conversion. It's not a question. Uh, mostly, I didn't understand that. You know, the ads conversion on Facebook, especially. Uh, it was covered very quickly. I didn't get it at that point. I see. If it can, sure. If it can be made a little clearer. Sure, sure. Add conversion. What? what uh, can you explain me a little bit more? What aspect of it do you want to yeah, understand yeah. a little bit deeper? Uh, 
the ads on, on, on those how how the uh, it will be converted to landing sales. page. Okay. Okay. So so what happens is that you know when you go to on when you go to YouTube, right? You watch a video. You want to watch a video and you go to, go to YouTube. And right before uh, before your video plays, there is an ad that runs for five seconds. Sometimes you can skip that ad. Sometimes you cannot skip that ad. Right? There's a button to skip, yes. and that ad, what it does is that basically you know sales has three parts: attention, interest, decision. You have to unlock the attention mechanism. You have to unlock the interest mechanism. You have to unlock the decision making mechanism of the person. Now, what the ad does. Is that it unlocks the attention mechanism of the person, and if you do it right, you'll be able to unlock the person's attention mechanism. If you do it wrong, then your ad conversion will be very very low. You don't sell people on ad. You don't sell a paid product on the ad. You sell people on the fact that they need to click a button, right? You, they need to click your link so that they go to the landing page or they go somewhere. They don't buy right away on ads. You don't want to uh, pitch them a paid offer, a paid offer in ads, right? You don't want to pitch them a paid offer in ads. You only want to pitch them to click a button, click the link, right? Why will they want to click the link? What will will they get from click, clicking that link? That's what you are pitching them, right? But even before you pitch that part. You first need to grab their attention, so that they will be hooked into your ad. Once they are hooked into your ad, then you will pitch them. Why do they want to click on that link, right? So the ad's purpose is to unlock the person's attention mechanism, and to build a little bit of interest, just a little bit of interest. Not, not the you know this phase is you have to do more work in order to build more interest, right? But ad builds a little bit of interest as well. Right. So once the person clicks the link, he goes to where? He goes to the landing page. He goes to the landing page, and then from there on, he sees why exactly he needs to enter his email. If he enters his email, he will get this X Y Z. Right? X Y Z. Is it beneficial for him? Do he? Uh, does he want that X Y Z? Whatever you are uh, offering him, is it a is it a free offer? Is it a paid offer? He will run all the calculations subconsciously, and then once he is done with the calculations in his mind, unconscious cal calculations, he will decide or not decide to enter the email address. If you're if you're good in sales, most people will be entering their email address. If you're bad at sales, then most people will be running out of that uh, landing page right away, right? So you want to first perfect your skills in sales before you try to build a funnel. So once Person enters his email address, then he is in out inside of our funnel, and then all the process begins from there. Does that make sense? Does it answer the question? Or what are you it, looking? It at? is now very clear. Okay, perfect. Any other question, Ankita? Any questions? Uh, uh, like uh, you are sending emails, and uh, how will they come to know? Like how will they come to know that this is our potential client? Who will and come to know you? No. How will we come to know that he is a potential client after he is in, inside the landing page or when he is watching the ad? So, uh, watching the ads, like um, many ads are running for uh, shopping and other things. Like how uh, how it how Google actually how they optimize that on uh, whose ID they have to show the ads. Right. So, so your question is how will we know which person? Needs to see our ad, right? Mm -hmm. Or how does Google know which person the Google needs to show the ads, right? So these ad platforms, Google is just one platform. There are other ad, ad, ads platforms as well, right? Facebook is one platform. Um, like any other, like YouTube as well. How will you come to know? YouTube is a part of Google. Huh. It's same. Uh, you run the ads from the uh, Google Ads. Uh, manager, right? But uh, the point is that there are different types of ad platforms. Facebook, then there is plenty of fish POF. There are many other ad platforms. There are affiliate ad platforms as well, right? 
uh, so mm-hmm. all these platforms what they do is that they have options to tar- to set audience what type of audience set an audience what type of audience you want to show these ads to so for example google right so google people search uh, all the users consumers they search on google for particular keywords right so google's ad platform has uh, tools to select a particular audience based on the keyword search right and then they also have uh, other options as well like demo, uh, demographics of people right so based on keywords based on interest based on demographics right um google has options you can select those those things and based on that google will show ads to people right and then based on how good your ads are converting it will increase or decrease your cost of those ads if your ads are really really good as converting many people then the cost will reduce because google wants to um give uh, wants to optimize its um user experience right if your ads are poor and they are not relevant to people who are looking for those keywords then your cost is going to increase and sometimes your ads won't even appear right no matter how much you are paying google they are not interested in showing your ad right that will happen now on facebook similar concept but i think facebook also has uh, a a different type of strategy that they run using artificial intelligence right so initially you set the audience but then later on facebook decides uh facebook can opt, uh, change the audience depending on the conversion rates of those ads uh, a little bit uh, but yeah i mean uh, all these ad, ad plot platforms they work in similar ways that you can set the options on how do you want to target the audience and on which category that you want to target does that make sense does that answer the question yes but more uh, more importantly this part is the part of digital marketing once you are learning digital marketing you will learn all those things and there are people out there who are teaching it really really well you want to learn from them my role in this picture mm-hmm. is that you need to follow the right path i am here to show you the right sequence of steps that you need to take digital marketing does not comes first what comes first is optimizing your sales process once you have optimized the sales process all the other things they come after that if you don't even have a good sales process you don't even have money to run ads so why are you learning digital marketing right so my my job is to clarify those things and there are people who are teaching these things digital marketing and all those things persuasion skills and all those things you want to learn from them but you want to learn them in the right order if you learn them in the wrong order then you are wasting your energy you are going to take a long long time to grow your business and bad things will happen to you make sense yes 